Speed. No. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So this video, as the title says, is a discussion video about the ZTE Blade V8, the V8 Pro, and the Honor 6X. So this is a topic that's been floating around since CES, and people have been wondering, uh, why would I buy the Honor, Honor 6X over the V8 Pro or the V8 Pro over the Honor 6X? But I think some people are missing something here, and I want to go over the specs uh, from these three devices uh, in this video right here. So sit back and uh, grab a glass of water or Gatorade or whatever you prefer, and some crackers and snacks or something, let's get it on. So the first thing I want to say is, um, I don't think, and this is going to sound crazy, but remember I had hands-on time with all three of these devices and I played with them for a very long time. Some much longer than others. So, uh, people are comparing the Honor 6X in com to the uh, V8 Pro. And those are the phones they're saying, I don't know which one I should get. I think you're proud. Now, while both of those phones are out, I think the better comparison is the Blade V8. Here's why. I'm going to read. The, there's something that's important to a lot of people. And that's the camera. So first I want to say, i got to go on record here and say that I feel like in my experience, the V8 Pro camera is worlds ahead of the Honor 6X camera. There you go. Now, here's why I think the comparison should be between the V8 and, the, and not the V8 Pro with the Honor 6X. Now, again, I don't know when the Honor 6, the, V8, v, the regular V8 is actually coming to market, but it is coming. First, the processor. The Snapdragon 625 is one of the best processors you could get on a device, uh, and it's it's proven itself on multiple devices. So that right there takes the uh, the V8 Pro to a higher level. The uh, processor in the Honor 6X, the High Silicon Curin 655, that's more in range with the 400 series. Now, don't let these 600 series is from, you know, from these the, from Huawei fool you. The 600 series is in line with the 435 as far as performance from what I can see from hands-on using them. So that's the first thing. The processor is right in line with the, the Snapdragon 435. And so, some of you have never had any hands-on time with the Snapdragon 435. I'm telling you, it's a fast processor. Uh, and people who are buying phones in that range with that type of processor aren't buying them for benchmark tests to come out the highest. They're buying them for battery efficiency. You know, they're not heavy users, you know, like as far as like banging their phones really hard with a bunch of hardcore gaming and things like that. So also, the Honor 6X comes with its own UI uh, and so does the, the V8. Now, the V8 is running Mi Favorite 4.2 and... The Honor 6X is actually running 4.1. Now you probably say, well, those are two different. Yeah, but get your having hands on time with these, it didn't compare to in performance and speed and like regular usage. Even though the V8 Pro is on 6.0, that thing flies. And it's much faster in performance than the Honor 6X. And even the, the Blade V8, to me, performed a little bit better uh, than the... Honor 6X in my usage. Now, those are pre-production models that they're showing there, but I had some other hands-on time with the phones. And this, the, the Honor 6X and the V8 are, are hand-in-hand. Hand. Here's something else to consider. The Honor 6X has two variants. You've got a 4 gig, 64 gigs of RAM, which is way up in cost to me for what they're offering. And then you have a 32 gig, 3 gigs of RAM, well, with the V8, you get a 2 gig 16 or a 32 3 gig. So you get a couple of different variants there. They both have an SD card slot um, where you can expand it up to 256 gigs. The Honor is running the Mali series for the GPU. And the, G the, the, the GPUs on the ZTEs are the Adrenos. Now, this is something that people aren't paying attention to, but the Adreno 505 is a proven processor. So we know it's really good. However... The 506 is what's in the V8 Blade, uh, the Blade V8 Pro. And so it's going to perform extremely well. Here's something that's, that's important. Cameras. Now, the camera on the V8 Pro, uh, it has a camera that shoots in 1080p on the front. It has an 8 megapixel camera. And the Honor 6X has an 8 megapixel camera. 
But the V, uh, the excuse me, the V8 Pro has an eight megapixel. The Honor 6X has a V8 uh, eight, uh, eight megapixel tongue twister. And the, but the V8, the regular V8, has a thirteen megapixel on the front. Shoots 1080p. Now on the Honor 6X, I did, it doesn't show that it shoots 1080p on the in their specs. And I don't recall in my usage that it does on the front camera. But let's switch over to the rear. Here's where the comparison gets a little bit better that I'm getting at. The V8, regular V8, has a 13 megapixel and a 2 megapixel. The Honor 6X, 12 megapixel and a 2 megapixel. The V8 Pro has two 13 megapixels on the back, and they shine. Not just saying that. The cameras on the V8 Pro, I have nothing to gain. You know me as a reviewer. The cameras on the V8 Pro are fantastic. I kid you not. So that's another thing that I think takes the, the V8 Pro up higher than what you guys are thinking comparing it to the Honor 6X. Um, now, here's something else that's in common with the V8, not the V8 Pro, the V8 and the Honor 6X, the Wi-Fi. They both top out at BGN. The V8 has AC. The V8 and the Honor 6X have Bluetooth 4.1. The V8 Pro has 4.2. They all have a fingerprint reader and everything. And here, here's another one that I think you should look at also is build quality. Now, the V8 and the, and the Honor 6X both have the same type of build quality. They've got these rear mounted fingerprint readers, excuse me, uh, they've got this, um, I, I meant to say they both have fingerprint readers, but they both have this metal backing. Now, the V8 has a fingerprint reader on the bottom front, which is something that a lot of people might prefer. I actually prefer it on the rear. But the Honor 6X has it on the back. Now, if you look at both of these phones side by side, they, they look like they're in the same category, you know. Now, one difference is the Honor 6X has a 5.5 inch display, so maybe that's why people are putting it in the range of the V8 Pro. But that's why they have a V8 Pro version because it's definitely a lot better. And the build quality is better on the V8 Pro than the Honor 6X. And the in-hand feel is better. That's why I think it's, it's better, in my opinion, to compare the Honor 6X with the V8. Now, the problem is both of, these, both of the V8s are going to cost less than the Honor 6X. Right now, Huawei is kind of in there. Now, don't think I'm making this video to try to bash Huawei. Now, I've already heard people saying, oh, you're a ZTE spokesman. If that's what you think about me and you don't think I do uh, honest opinions and reviews on products, just change the channel. You don't have to come and comment and say, uh, well, you know, you, you're just being paid. You're being paid by ZTE to say these things because ZTE hasn't given me not one check. And I didn't ask them for it. <laughs> just kind of give you my honest opinion. Having had first-hand experience, the V8 isn't out yet. You can't buy it yet, but I'm telling you, it's a better comparison to the Honor 6X. But where the ZTE phones win is price. Right now, the, the Honor 6X just came out and they're already dropping, they have, they have all these fire sales. Like they're dropping the price 50 bucks, they're dropping it a lot. And that should tell you something. Maybe they don't even believe in the pricing that they have for their phones. Maybe they don't. Who knows? I don't know. But I can tell you one thing. The V8 Pro, based on my experiences, and try to reach out, try to, in the comments, if you've used both, all three of these phones, or just the Honor 6X and the V8 Pro, tell me what you think. Do you think the Honor 6X is a better buy than the V8 Pro? The cameras are better, are much better than the Honor 6X. The battery life, now there's something also, uh, I, I was going to get into UIs, but these UIs are pretty close, but here's where ZTE wins. ZTE gives you the option right from the phone to where you don't have to change or install a third-party launcher because the Mi Favor can actually be switched over to, they give you the option for a stock launcher. And I think that, um, now, mind you, I definitely buy Huawei products. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm recording this with the front camera of the Mate 9. Just to show you how good the quality is on the Mate 9. It's a fantastic camera. Audio's great. Everything. Uh, but, however, 
I just think the comparison, because ZTE is not pushing the V8 so much in the U.S., I think that's actually better in line to go against and compete with the Honor 6X. So I know you guys haven't had any hands-on time. There might be a few of you out there who who, who actually had hands-on time with, with all these devices, especially the 6X and the regular V8. I think that's a much better comparison. So tell me what you guys think in the, in the, in the comments. I know you can only go based on the specs and what I'm telling you if you have not used them. But again, I say unto you, I have nothing to gain by saying that one phone is better than the other like and trying to convince you to buy it and because i try to avoid doing that i try to avoid telling people um to to buy something uh so it's your man jay will i hope you found this video entertaining and uh i hope you got something from it please leave a comment uh down below uh if you think that the honor 6x is the better buy uh, based on what you read online or just your experience with it. But I can tell you, if if I bring out a device and I already start dropping the price on it immediately with flash sales, that might be something that they're, they're just now listening. They were testing the waters, pricing it kind of high to see if it will sell. Once you price the Honor 6X at 300 bucks for the 64 gig, 4 gig variant, you're moving into a whole nother territory of phones. The, that makes the V8 Pro even more compelling. So what features in a phone does any of these phones lack that you think you might need? Um, I can tell you firsthand that the battery life on the V8 Pro is fantastic. Fantastic. Honor 6X and the regular V8, I don't know yet. Uh, but hopefully I can get some hands-on time with those like back here at the lab for like a month or more. Or just have them and, uh, you know, give you guys some real-world testing on it. So... Uh, again, this is recorded with the front camera of the Mate 9. This camera is great. I did some sample videos before starting this, this video, and I was like, whoa, this, this camera is fantastic. So I'm going to try to do just do a direct upload uh, from the phone to YouTube and see how that comes out. So, But anyway, guys, um, it's your man, Jay Will. I'm super excited to give you some, some devices that are to, to discuss, some devices that are coming out and coming your way to help you and, and assist in your thought process, you know, on picking a phone. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you just run buy it because I like it. So, but I will tell you that the V8 to me is a better comparison to the Honor 6X than the V8 Pro. There's a reason why it has the Pro name on there. Um, it's got a Wi-Fi AC. It's got a, a build quality that's just off the charts, man. And I just think it's the overall. I think it's just much better than the Honor 6X. So. That's my take on it, and uh, I'm, I say this with hands-on experience for all of these devices. Uh, uh, tell me what you think in the comments, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your man, Jay Will. Take care.